Hello people, in this video let us look at some um, drugs that will cause hepatotoxicity. So we are not talking about alcohol and uh, hepatitis virus etc. We are talking only drugs. Drugs means medications, pharmacology, right? So which are going to affect the liver adversely. So most commonly when somebody asks you what will you say? You will say paracetamol that you I think you already know, anti-tubercular drugs you know, right? That you know. Uh, Apart from these, there are a lot of drugs and overdose of anything may cause a uh, problem to the liver, people. So now anyways, uh, now let us uh, just learn this list. Acetaminophen, that is paracetamol, antipyretic, analgesic. At high doses, it will cause hepatotoxicity. More so, it is in alcoholics that it can cause the hepatotoxicity, okay? And anyways, they have uh, damaged their uh, liver with all the alcohol, so yes. So then chlorpromazine, chlorpromazine, where will you give? I think this is for schizophrenia, etc antipsychotic drug are we still using all these drugs chlorpromazine so this is an antipsychotic first generation i think anti psychotic okay then um what about uh, high dose estrogen so estrogen if somebody is taking then you have to warn them if they're taking high doses it can be damaged damaging to the liver right estrogen remember who usually takes all this estrogen and all I have a feeling all these people who want to be more feminine, um, they are taking this, okay? The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, drugs, can aspirin come here? Think about that. So this uh, term is very broad, okay? Then amoxiclab, that is amoxicillin itself. I would uh, say uh, amoxicillin. So it is antibiotic, right? Antimicrobial, antibiotic. So this one, uh, amoxiclab is what? Amoxicillin plus clavulinic acid, okay? What is co-amoxiclab? What is co-amoxiclav? I'm thinking it's the same thing. Amoxicillin plus clavulinic acid only is co-amoxiclav. Okay, so this is hepatotoxic. Wow. Then statins. Statins, why will you give to lower cholesterol, right? So that also can uh, be hepatotoxic, people. Rifampicin, isoniazid, I'm sure you know anti-tubercular drugs, hepatotoxic, hepatotoxicity, that's what we learned, right? Then amiodarone, anti-arrhythmic, yes, that is also going to hurt the liver. And then busulfan, busulfan, where will you give people? Busulfan, looks like it's used for cancer, okay? So that is also uh, hurting the liver, that can hurt the liver, okay? Now we are going to the second uh, set of the uh, drugs that affect the liver, okay? So hepatotoxic drugs, we are going to the second uh, uh, set here. So uh, then we have um, this one, azathioprine. Azathioprine is immunosuppressive, immunosuppressive, azathioprine. You might be hearing this even in myasthenia gravis, etc. They will give this azathioprine, okay? That can hurt the liver. Methotrexate, uh, very important to know, anti-rheumatic drug. That is a disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug, Damard. It is uh, also used to treat Crohn's and it can also be used to treat cancer. This one can cause uh, uh, non-alcoholic um, liver disease, right? So this one you should know, methotrexate. I will highlight this, okay? Methotrexate, you know. Nitrofurantoin, this is what? This is usually given to treat uh, UTI, urinary tract infection, right? So it is an antimicrobial only, right? So it is also antimicrobial only. Anyways, let's write here, treat UTI, okay? Then checkpoint inhibitors like nivolumab, pembrolizumab, mab, mab, mab. What is all this mab? Antibodies, right? Again, this is used in cancer treatment, okay? This is called as immunotherapy, okay? So do you want me to write that here? treat cancer by immunotherapy okay then tetracyclines if given in pregnancy or to young children it can cause teeth discoloration you remember that and in pregnancy it can cause maternal hepatotoxicity okay sodium valproate why will you give seizures this if there is poisoning of this it can cause hepatotoxicity see poisoning of anything can lead to hepatotoxicity people so that list will be very very exhaustive just remember. Then coming to propyl theouracil, antithyroid drug can cause hepatotoxicity. Propyl theouracil. Niacin is a vitamin, right? Vitamin uh, B, vitamin B what? Niacin. B3. It is vitamin B3. So if you take excess of it, so don't think that vitamins are some chocolates and eat them or you should make sure that the children don't swallow them a lot thinking that they are yummy. Okay, so because niacin excess can lead to hepatotoxicity. Scary, scary, scary. Okay, then teriflunomide, which is used to treat multiple sclerosis, 
toll cap on which is used to treat parkinsons i think this is not like the first line of drugs or something but yeah uh, these drugs can be uh, what what are we discussing hepatotoxic very good so Uh, this is the list okay people so the list is exhaustive please understand now what and all did you look at acetaminophen that is paracetamol chlorpromazine uh, estrogen non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs amoxicillin statins rifampicin isoniazid amiodarone busulfan azathioprine methotrexate do not forget nitrofurantoin then some cancer drugs uh, tetracycline sodium valproate propyl thiouracil niacin excess teriflunomide tolcapone etc okay now <clears throat> uh, how do they affect the liver exactly if you want to know that then you can know this some of them cause cholestasis who the chlorpromazine high dose estrogen cause cholestasis cholestasis is what something to do with the bile right there is some blockage there cholestatic hepatitis hepatitis that is the both the uh, bile um, the gallbladder part and the liver are affected looks like okay so that is the problem when you take this uh, uh non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs amoxicillin statins etc who causes hepatitis that is inflammation of the liver right hepatitis that is caused by rifampicin and isoniazid acute hepatitis they cause then non alcoholic steatohepatitis so steatohepatitis is fatty kind of liver oh steato is what as fatty only right so amiodarone that is the anti arrhythmic drugs will lead to the steato hepatitis non alcoholic a uh, venous outflow obstruction who is going to cause a venous outflow obstruction that is busulfan azathioprine etc that is kind of weird right it is going to obstruct the venous flow outflow that means um, to the inferior vena cava the blood which had to go is obstructed wow methotrexate will cause fibrosis this is important to know methotrexate will cause fibrosis 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 so um one of the other uh, way you know many people who sell devices right they want to check the uh, fibrosis of the liver they will say if you are giving methotrexate to your patient please check the fibrosis of the liver okay you got that so some devices are there to measure the fibrosis okay people nitrofurantoin uh, checkpoint inhibitors like uh, nivolumab etc will cause autoimmune hepatitis again everything is related to immune here see uh, ab is that immunotherapy antibodies so immuno hepatitis like immuno hepatitis like hepatitis like it is Immu autoimmune sorry autoimmune hepatitis like autoimmune hepatitis like situation okay so how they affect the liver just tell me how they affect the liver i don't want, want to know which drug okay so it will cause um, uh, some of them will cause um, uh, uh, hepatitis some of them that is the inflammation some of them will cause this uh, cholestasis cholestatic hepatitis both then it will cause venous outflow obstruction uh some of them is will cause venous outflow obstruction so this venous outflow is obstructed then it will cause some of them will cause steato hepatitis yeah fatty liver then some of them uh, the this fatty liver i'll put in yellow then some of them will cause um, uh, uh what i'm missing something very easy to know what is that wait let's go back and uh fibrosis fibrosis please fibrosis then venous outflow obstruction i said hepatitis like situation hepatitis itself cholestatic hepatitis yes we got everything the only thing i forgot is fibrosis i think okay very good people 